Hey guys, so in this video, I will show you how to jailbreak iOS 9.3.5 or 9.3.6 on a 32-bit device using a Mac. So as you can see right here, I have an iPhone 4S that's running iOS 9.3.6. By the way, if you're wondering what Mac that you can do this jailbreak on, all you need is a Mac that run Mac OS 10.12 Sierra and above. You can pretty much use a Intel Mac or an Apple Silicon Mac as long as it's above Mac OS 10.12 High Sierra. Oh, I forget to mention there are several things that you need to know so pretty much first thing is that you need a 30 pin to USB A cable if you have a Mac with USB C port I highly recommend using a USB A dongle or a USB C hub with USB A ports last but not least I highly not recommend using a 30 pin to USB C cable if somehow you can find one and let's get back into the video all right first thing first plug in your phone into your Mac and let's move on to the Mac. All right, so you're on your Mac now. First thing first, go to your favorite web browser that you like to use. In my case, I like to use Chrome because I like to use Chrome. You need to go to these two websites. First of all, is the site Lodi website and the Phoenix website. I'll link both of the website in the description below. So let's go to the site Lodi website first. Keep scroll down the website until you see macOS download. As I mentioned earlier, you can do this on a Mac that runs macOS 10.12 Sierra or higher you can do this on an intel mac like i'm using this macbook air right here or an apple silicon mac so hit mac os download and as you can see it's done downloading go to the second website which i mentioned earlier which is phoenix scroll down until you see this download button and it will download all right so it's done downloading so as you can see i got the phoenix ipa file and the site loading now you can close the web browser that you use and then go to where you save the downloads in my case obviously i have my downloads folder and as you can see again here's the phoenix ipa for the jailbreak and here's the site loading to import the ipa file so open this site loading so as you can see this showed up all you need to do is drag this and put it into the application folder once it's done, you can close this and go to application and search up for site loading. In my case, it's right here. So open this. Alright, so as you can see, this shows up in the pop-out. Don't worry about that. So this method works for macOS 13 and above. So go to system settings, scroll down to privacy and security, scroll down and until you see this part right here security allow application downloaded from so you can see right here site loading was blocked just click open anyway and put in your password this pops up will show up just click open as you can see it's opening right now and there you go so this method is for mac os 10.12 sierra until mac os 12 monorail i'm doing this on mac os 10.13 high sierra so i will open site loading as you can see here wait for a few seconds and that pops up shows up so what you need to do is go to system preferences then go to security and privacy make sure you're on the general tab look at the bottom and you'll see that it says it's blocked so just click open anyway it will verify and then that pop-up shows up again just click open and as you can see it opens so you're good to go all right so once this showed up you can close the other apps because we don't need it anymore you can see i've connected my phone right here i have my dock and as you can see it's charging so as you can see site loading detects my iphone for us because obviously i already plug it in next thing is go back to where you download the ipa file for the phoenix so in my case again as i mentioned earlier i have it in my downloads folder so drag the ipa into right here that it says ipa and as you can see it detects the ipa next up you need to put your apple id well let's say that you don't feel secure to put your main apple id i would highly recommend create a burner account as an alternative method for the apple id so i'll be entering my apple id right now all right so i've put my apple id and next up click start so as you can see this pops up shows up um Again, if you don't feel secure, you can create a burner account to do this. I will be putting the password. Once you put the password, click OK. As you can see, it's doing its thing. 
and it's done so you don't need your mac anymore you can just away move to the device that you're jailbreaking on all right so you're on your device right now and as you can see i have my 4s and when you scroll to the second page as you can see there's phoenix but when you open it it will show the untrusted developer pretty much what you need to do is go to settings general Scroll down until you see the device management as you can see right here tap your apple id tap the blue text that says trust your apple id and tap trust go back to home screen and then when you open it and as you can see phoenix actually opens next up hit prepare for jailbreak terms and condition hit accept and as you can see it says free mixtape available however when you look at the bottom the small text that says proceed with jailbreak so tap that proceed with jailbreak and begin installation so it shows this device supported so i would highly recommend tap use provider offsets and it's doing its thing tap done when the pop-up shows up so your phone will restart Give it some time for it to boot. As you can see, when you unlock your phone, CDI shows right there. Open CDI. Well, if it's crashed, um, just open it again. So tap return to Cydia and it will show this pop up. I would highly recommend tap complete upgrade, confirm, and it will download all the latest Cydia whatever things for this device. So as you can see it crashed earlier so open it again. So as you can see, when you add changes, it doesn't show any red dot, which means that you're fully up to date. So that's how you jailbreak iOS 9.3.5 or 9.3.6 with a Mac. Alright, so let's say you reboot your iDevice and when you try to open CD, as you can see, it's just gonna crash. So what you need to do is go to the app switcher and then close all the apps and then hold the power button with that slide to power off to show up and then hold the power button for it to clear off the RAM go to Phoenix and then tap kickstart jailbreak tap use provider offsets and wait it for it to do its own thing for a while as you can see it says it's jailbroken wait it for it to reboot You can unlock it and then when you open Cydia, so storage is full, tap done. And that's how you do it. Anyway, I hope this tutorial helps you a lot. So thanks for watching. Check out my other videos right here. And yeah, bye.